This question about insulation might seem easy, but it's harder than you think to get six marks on this one. Uh, a student investigates the insulating properties of newspaper. They use this equipment here. We've got some hot water, a metal can, layers of newspaper, and a digital thermometer. And it shows you their results in the graph down here, where we've got the number of new layers of newspaper changing on the x-axis and the temperature decrease of the water after five minutes. The question is very simple. Describe a method the student could use to obtain these results. So how do we do it? Um, now, it tells us the number of layers of newspaper used. It starts off at zero and if you look this way it then goes to eight then it goes to 16 then it goes to uh, 24 um, and then we finish off on 32 and on the y-axis it says the temperature decrease in the water after five minutes so we don't need to wait longer than five minutes but we do need to measure the temperature decrease so how you start off is a little bit like this so use a kettle um, or something similar uh, to heat water um, pour um, a certain amount, it doesn't matter how much, um, it doesn't say how much, pour into um, the metal can. Now I'm going to say metal can, and I'm going to say initially I'm going to start off with one with zero newspaper around it, because that's just easiest to start off with. Okay, so I can say with no newspaper around. Then we're going to say we're going to place the thermometer inside, uh, so place the thermometer inside and if you look at the y-axis on the graph as, as it says it says a temperature decrease of the water after five minutes so one thing that's not in here is a stop clock to be able to measure that with okay so you are expected to know that uh, because it talks about time so record temperature then you're going to start the stop clock then you're going to say after five minutes because it says five minutes here record the new temperature uh, and then subtract the two values because you're finding the temperature decrease so subtract the two um, values to find the decrease. So what we've done there is we've done a perfect method just for one can. So that's for our first point on the graph up here. We need to then talk about the rest of them. So we're going to say something like repeat steps uh, one, two, four. Um, with and let's look at the graph again. We've got eight layers of newspaper. Then we've got sixteen, twenty-four, etc. So with eight layer eight, then um, 16, 24, 32 uh, layers of newspaper. And this question is only about how do you get the data. It doesn't tell you anything about what you do with the results. We've got the results already. Um, so that's all we need to mention. Now, something this question might look for um, is some control variables. OK, so uh, we're changing the number of layers of newspaper. We're measuring the temperature decrease. Um, you could say make sure keep the volume of water um, the same each time. So um, you might want to use a measuring cylinder for that. Um, or a beaker would be fine here, um, but a measuring cylinder is better, okay? So that'd be a really good thing to enter in. You could put that at the start of the method if you wanted to um, as well.